Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Glock 19 Gen 5 versus the SAR 9X Platinum. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is the Glock 19 Gen 5. This one has a 15 plus one capacity. And in this configuration, it was, I believe, 600 or $650. And we have the SAR 9X Platinum bone stock. The way this came is $500 MSRP, and it came with a 17 plus one magazine and one with a plus two base pad on it. So it was 19 plus one. All right, the trigger weight on the Glock 19 is three pounds, 11 ounces. That is right now with the rounds that I have through this. So there is your trigger pull. There is your reset. And that was three pounds, 11 ounces measured with the Lyman digital scale. The SAR 9X Platinum has a trigger pull of three pounds, 12 ounces right now with about 700 rounds through it. And again, that is with the Lyman digital scale. And there's our trigger pull. There's our reset. So right now with the rounds that I have through them, the trigger pull on these two pistols is virtually the same. Now the weight empty on the Glock 19 is one pound 10 ounces. The weight empty on the SAR 9X Platinum is one pound 12 ounces. The weight loaded of the Glock 19 with 15 plus one is two pounds one ounce. Loaded weight for the SAR 9X Platinum is two pounds four ounces and that is 17 plus one. The overall length on the Glock 19 is 7.36 inches. The overall length on the SAR 9X Platinum is 7.5 inches. The barrel length on the Glock is four inches. It is 4.4 inches on the SAR 9X. The overall height on the Glock is 5.4 inches. Overall height on the SAR 9 is 5.5 inches. The width on the Glock is 1.26 inches. The width on the SAR 9 is 1.4 inches. Now the Glock 19 in this configuration came with Ameriglow Big Dot sight with the tritium inserts in it. The SAR 9X comes with simple three dot sights in it. They both come with a replaceable back strap, but the SAR 9X also comes with replaceable side panels on it. So you can adjust your grip here or in the back, or you can do it any combination. As you can see, they both have trigger guard serrations. However, the SAR 9 serrations are quite a bit deeper. The Glock 19 has an ambidextrous slide stop on it. The SAR 9X does not. It is only on the left hand side. They both have a large reversible mag release on them. They both have a crowned barrel and both of these have a trigger safety. However, as you can see, the trigger on the SAR 9 also has a red striker status indicator on it. As I said before, the Glock comes with the 15 round magazines. I believe this came with three, it may have only been two. The SAR 9X comes with a 17 round magazine and it comes with another magazine that has a plus two extension on it. As you can see, the SAR 9X has front serrations on it. It also has lightning cuts on the slide. This is simply a Glock 19, it's not the 19X, so this has no front serrations on it and it obviously has no cuts on the slide. The Glock does not come with the safety. The SAR 9X comes with an ambidextrous safety. As you can see, the SAR 9X is drilled and tapped for an optics plate, but right now the only optics plate available for this is from a Turkish company and it fits Turkish optics. So right now, there's nothing available for this. 
hopefully with it being drilled and tapped somebody will come along really quick and come up with a plate for that so you can put an optic on these easily the standard glock 19 does not come drilled or tapped for an optic does not come with the cutout for it this you would have to send in if you got the mos version then it would be set up for a plate and you could put an optic on this the glock 19 comes with simply the gun the magazines and a terrible glock speed loader in the box as i covered on the initial video for the sar 9x it comes in a box with everything you need to turn this into a carry pistol other than going out and putting your 200 rounds through it in a box carry ammo or 100 or whatever you're comfortable with but don't just load it up and take it out as your carry gun glock has a ton of aftermarket parts for it even the gen 5s are getting more and more every day if you've got a gen 3 or a gen 4 there are even more aftermarket parts out there the sar 9x unfortunately has no aftermarket support for it right now hopefully things will come along like i said it should be pretty easy for somebody to come up with an optics plate for this uh, the grip panels are definitely replaceable i'm hoping somebody comes up with a safety delete Another nice thing about the SAR-9 is that this has a fire control unit in it, a modular fire control unit like the P320. So that can come out and you can change the grip completely on this one. But as this one sits right now, this is absolutely bone stock, nothing but rounds through it. I haven't done anything other than clean it after 500 rounds. And of course, covering the holsters for the Glock 19. The Glock 19 is a Glock 19. There are a ton of holsters out there. No matter what you want, who you want it from, you're going to be able to find a holster for the Glock 19. The SAR 9X is a little tougher to find specific holsters for it. However, I did test this out. It will fit in an SP2022 Kydex holster. It does fit in the P320 Kydex holster if you have the Lima module on it. I can't tell you if it will fit in just a regular P320 holster because I had mine made with the Lima module. It does fit in my Springfield XD leather holster. It will also fit in the Canica Elite holster that comes in the box with those. The SAR 9X will not fit in a Glock 19 Kydex holster or a P226 Kydex holster. If you have a leather holster for either of those, I was able to make it fit. Now there are a couple of last points to make for this. The Glock only has a single Picatinny rail slot. The SAR 9X obviously has three of them so you have more options on what you can put on here and what will fit. And of course the SAR 9X super easy to take apart. I like this takedown on here. This is way better than the Glock is. Not quite as good as like the regular takedown lever like you find on a SIG, but it's, but it's way easier for me to put this thing together and take it apart than it is a Glock. Even when I put the extended takedown levers on this thing, I struggle getting those things down. It takes me forever to take apart a Glock. And as I showed you, they both have pretty much an identical trigger pull on them right now. To me, right now, the Glock trigger actually feels a little smoother than the SAR 9X. I think that could stand to have some work done to it. I haven't done the 25 cent trigger job on the Glock, so that would smooth that up a little bit. And I would assume that you could probably do something similar to the SAR trigger, smooth that up a little bit, get some more rounds through it. It's probably going to smooth it up a little bit too. And lastly, we've got just a quick look at the grips right here. And I will tell you that the SAR definitely fits my hand better. I love this grip. I think this grip is fantastic. I haven't even changed out the back strap or the side panels on it. Glock grip. I don't like it all. I don't like it all. Especially didn't like it with that cutout in there and doing a mag change because every time it got my pinky. 
All right, so that was the Glock 19 Gen 5 versus the SAR 9X Platinum. Hope you guys liked this video. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.